morning guys welcome back to my channel i hope you're all doing very very well i'm a little bit out of breath because i have been running around the house like a headless chicken this morning i thought i would just quickly intro this vlog because last night tommy told me that i needed to pack a bag because we are going away today i don't think we're going away away i think it's like potentially a staycation but it's valentine's day tomorrow it's shrove tuesday today so it's pancake day today happy pancake day everyone i've not had any breakfast yet i've not actually had pancakes yet today last year for valentine's we didn't really celebrate it. it wasn't the best valentine's day because tommy was literally a few days away from his fight with jake paul and i'd just given birth and we were just like the it was a lot it, we were going through a lot and i kept saying to him this year like not to put any pressure on you but like i would like to celebrate valentine's day this year also from my side too i've got him quite a special little present nothing big but um just a sentimental little present which i need to pack actually before i forget he sorted childcare, so we're having a night away i think it's just one night he's been very confusing about like with telling me what to pack he's like you need shoes that you might you don't mind getting dirty but then you also need a nice outfit like a dressy outfit so i've li literally no idea but then at the same time whenever we go anywhere even if you do need a dressy outfit we never end up wearing it because we'll just go to dinner like in our scruff so i've packed a dressy outfit but i highly doubt i'll be wearing it anyway i thought i would just bring you guys along and show you what we get up to whatever we're doing i literally hang on heart have no idea where we're going we could be going up north we could be going down south he said the car journey is quite long um i honestly have no idea he also told me to pack swimwear so like considering we're only going for one night like he told me to bring a lot so i have i've taken i'm taking a full suitcase because i'm like i don't know what i need i feel all like not nervous what the hell i feel like just excited and happy and like um i'm really excited to have like a night away together i'll bring you guys along and show you what we get up to you guys want to see a roller fail ready ready for a roller fail honestly everyday roller fail to be fair that one wasn't too bad there's a little bit of volume i had a delivery this morning from nima Rowe, my friend naomi's jewelry brand how gorgeous i feel like they're very fitting considering we're going for like a valentine's day trip um the little love hearts and i also got this necklace and also this bangle i don't really wear bracelets aren't the, aren't the ones that i've had for ages i really love this bangle and it's like the first bracelet that's actually come and fitted me because no bracelets fit me Come on, Daddy. What's that child? What's the child? Mm -hmm. Careful, Bambi. Babe, who's the child, will you? Romantic getaway. Romantic getaway. Romantic getaway. Romantic getaway. It's not starting off like a romantic getaway because these gates are going to crash into it. <laughs> You're open. Guys, he's just told me to look at my phone and he sent me something. I'm excited. Wait, okay, 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 okay. <gasps> Oh my goodness! <gasps> oh my goodness! <laughs> is this what we're doing? That is the cutest thing ever! So we're going to Brimstone Hotel and Spa. Where is that? It's in the Lake District. Is it? We're going to the lakes? Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh! Really like unbelievable. Really? I can't believe you had an itinerary made. That is the cutest thing. Couples full body massage. Oh my goodness. Dinner. Begin the day with breakfast in bed. Take in the stunning Lake District scenery with a walk. Finish with a pub lunch. Oh, babe. That is so Happy exciting. Valentine's day. I literally can't wait. I've never heard of that place. Neither have I to be fair, but it's meant to be really, really nice. Brimstone Hotel yeah. and Spa. Yeah. Don't look at it though until we get there. Really? Yes. Oh, I'm so excited. Happy anniversary. I mean, happy it's Valentine's. Valentine. <laughs> Basically, Tommy's bonnet keeps saying that it's open and that's what that beeping noise is. We can't have that the whole way. I'm so excited. That is the cutest thing. How cute. Oh, honestly, that has made my day. I've not had breakfast yet today, so we are stopping off at our services. I'm so excited to be away with you. You should be. <laughs> um, so, Tommy fancies a subway. I would have gone from McDonald's if I had a bit more blood. I might do a subway as well, you know. Yeah, not bad, not bad. Try and keep it a little bit healthy. A little bit tipsy. I'm going to get a little bit tipsy. Name the film. No, no one's going to get that. Give me a bit more of a fuller line. I'm going to get a little bit tipsy. It's not a common film that everyone's seen. No, it is. Hilarious. It should be, though, because... And then it's... it goes like that. It goes... Oh, classy 
Just put my chewing gum in the bin. Can I please get lettuce, cucumber, and sweet corn, please? Thank you. And then can I get barbecue sauce on that, please? Oh, wow. The strength's coming back. Well done. And lids, babe, please. Thank you. Unbelievable. Mm -hmm. mm. Last time we did a road trip like this, because there was engagement about three years yeah. ago, we got a subway then as well. I'm gonna cry, I don't know about you. I'm gonna turn the car around right now. I don't want the staycation anymore. Oh dear. Let me smell them. They really smell like her. Because she's only at home, babe. It's no. fine. That's what she does all the time. Because I got to say. I'm in love with you What are we gonna do? So, I'm in love with you What are we gonna do now? Make me feel loved and treasured You are water in the desert My fox, my missing puzzle piece You make me feel loved, protected Boy, we could talk forever on the couch, sipping bourbon, please. We have touched down at our staycation in the lakes. We're staying at a place called Brimstone, like I said earlier, and it is very gorgeous. Oh, in Shrek, doesn't he go like that? Lovely. Brimstone. No, I just don't know if we're kissing you, rejecting me. <laughs> I was thinking about someone. Um, we are now going to the spa. We've checked into our room. I just showed it on the montage a little bit, and I've been eating ice already, so my lips have already gone numb. Um, you have massages, come on. <laughs> We've got massages at four. I'm absolutely not cropping that. You're going to have to. Everyone loves that side of you. It's free and honest. It's not free. I care, honey. This looks um, very gorgeous. Look at this. Oh, hello. Hi. That looks so cute. Hi. So cozy. Put the glove on. No, nope, I'm not putting the glove on because I have a cast on. They've given you a glove for a reason. I Put it on. Tommy, put the glove on, babe. I'm going to show you the gun that we've got. Yeah, it's... Oh! <laughs> that didn't happen. You can't light much of a fire with that piece of kit. Right, leave that, Tommy. I don't think that's, I don't think that's safe. No, don't, don't. It's leave safe. it. It's safe enough. Hang on, watch. You want to be frozen tonight? We've never done anything like this before. This is a big deal for us. I'd just like to say, you want to put your belly away. Hey. No, I like it, but you're not going to use it. You, I'm just gonna say, it said it could light a fire, said it was a traveling man. And that fire now is lit because of me. His fire failed, so I'm taking it the- It failed, it just took a while to get started. <laughs> no, it went out before it even lit on. He put the kindling on top of the log. Look at that, it's roaring now. We literally both just sat on the floor watching it. This is how exciting our life gets. But the plan is now, I'm gonna rest you there actually. Perfect. We just had our massages. We've been relaxing at the spa and we have a dinner reservation at 6.45. 6.45. So it works out perfectly because what we're going to do, we're going to go to dinner, absolutely feast. <laughs> Basically, ah. we've got dinner at 6.45. We're going to feast and then we've got Love Island. We've got Love Island at nine. We're watching Love Island at nine. Look at that. Honestly, look at that fire. What a masterpiece. That's a pretty good fire, I've got to admit. Thanks to me. Say thank you. Thank you. Good fire, babe. Thanks, babe. Give me credit, babe, because it's due. Big John of the crowd. Lighting really isn't doing much for me right now, but we've just gotten ready. We've spruced ourselves up a little bit. I redid really my makeup and I've just run over my hair with my air wrap, just to kind of smooth it a little bit. Because I did wash it this morning, because obviously I didn't know what we were doing. And it, had I known that we were going to be in like a spa, getting massages and stuff, then I probably wouldn't have washed it, but here we are. Hello. <laughs> Tonight's fake 
fragrance, tonight's fragrance. I'm using Van Cleef & Arpel's Precious Oud. I feel like this is not spoken about. I think you can tell I love it because look how much I've used. I feel like I don't get through perfumes like this unless I truly love them. Honestly, I don't know anyone else that wears or talks about this perfume and I've never smelled it on anyone else. So, I mean, this is like I'm breaking the golden rule right now, baby. If you find a fragrance that's like, I love you. Oh, if you find yeah. a fragrance, why are we being really cringe? Ew! I didn't think that was cringe. Ew! If you find a fragrance yes. that is good and that no one else has, you're not meant to share it because it's meant to be like your own personalized fragrance. Well, but you've just done that. but what we don't gatekeep over here. Gorgeous. So yes. Shoes, Louis Vuitton, pants, some nice cargoes from represent. They're not my favourite, but I I I'm a bit different. They're a bit more flared for me at the bottom. Just a plain white top. It's actually Kirkland from Costco. I was getting a meet and I seen them. Do you know what? That's just so grounded of you. I love so that. Grounded. Costco t-shirt. And then over <laughs> by the With Dior. a Dior shirt. And we say a bit of jewellery. And then our shave tonight is my favourite upon favourite. I always buy this for him. Ombre Nomad. Ombre Nomad. Um, also babe, do you want to talk to everyone about what's going on with your hair at the minute? We're, yeah. we're in a bit of a struggle with Tommy's hair. In fact, it's something you, can, you guys can leave in the comment, right? So basically, I'm trying to grow it out, and I mean out as in like, you know, long. But I'm not really sure if Part it's going in the right direction. Yeah. So let me know. Basically, he's at the stage now where like, we're not loving it as a collective. Me and him, we're like, we're not sure. I, I mean, I do like it, but I know I'm going to like it even more when it goes long so we can like have it all the way back. It's on the way, it's definitely it on the way. It is on the way there, but then he's like, he keeps contemplating just cutting it off and just going short again. But I feel like this makes you look a bit more manly. I feel like before you look more like a boy. So yeah, like well, the, the I, longer hair sounds more like a girl. I reckon that side side stuff did suit me more though a little bit. Do I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. We'll, well see. do you prefer the longer hair on Tommy? The beard is, is overgrown as well. He don't worry about the beard. Just the hair. Leave it in the comments below. But take a good look. Because I need to know. I'm Before or after. Anyway, we're late for our dinner. Right, um, let's go. I'm so hungry, so I literally can't wait for this. Bye. Okay. My outfit of the night. Can you see me? Yes, you can see. So I've got on. My jeans are from A Vintage Fit, that's where I buy all my jeans from at the minute. They're basically Levi jeans, like vintage Levi's, and then they custom them for you. They customise them for you so they fit you perfectly. Top is from Zara. I am absolutely obsessed with these style of tops. They're like a little bit high neck. I feel like they're so flattering. The blazer, thank you. Showing the high neck. <laughs> thank you. The blazer is from Off-White. Um, I got this from Mr Village. Really nice oversized black blazer. Um, and then my jewellery is from Nima Row, um, which I mentioned earlier in the vlog. And then bag is Chanel. Got a hair clip with me because I know I'm going to want to clip it back when we're eating so I can enjoy. And yeah, I'm ready for a gorgeous Valentine's night. Go on, babe. That looks so good. Whoa. If it looks painful, it's because you don't know where this left hand. Hard? Nice. Pushy. Christy. 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 <laughs> yeah. And also, the ten of them. If one more comment gets said. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. Mm -hmm. Love you. I love you. It's 9 a.m. So this is the time that we would naturally wake up because well. we didn't set an alarm. We said we didn't want to have like a really long lie in. <laughs> But we didn't set an alarm when we've woken up at nine. I sound like I smoke <clears throat> 80 packs of cigarettes a day. I look like I smoke 80 packs a day. <laughs> That's the difference. Why do you look like that? I don't know. I'm changing oh. my hair. I'm going back to the side. Are you? I'm going to get a shower this morning and put it over. Okay. Well, this card, as you oh. can see, well, let me see. Bambi wrote the front. That That's Bambi. Because you wouldn't really want to use the pen. But I got her to hold it and we did that together. Oh, okay. Now that is some card. Wow. Daddy, will you be my first Valentine? Love, Bam Bam. Yes, Bam Bam. <laughs> I'll always be your Valentine. Mm. It's cute, isn't it? Unbelievable. I love that picture so Unbelievable. much. Unbelievable. It's one of my favourite pictures ever. Well, that's your first Valentine sorted. I've not been asked by you yet. Huh? I've not been asked by you yet. Oh, you'll be asked by me. Ugh. Lovely, 
Jesus. Did you get some moon pig? Yeah. Moonpig.com. So, we have a lot of memories together, haven't we? We have, babe. Ooh. I'll let you read that in peace. I'll come back when he does his little present. His little cutie present. Oh. Right, mate. Yeah. That's lovely. I know you used to have one. One of my jackets got stolen. Mm. And it was inside the jacket pocket it got took. Mm. Oh, that's unbelievable, babe. Let me see. Oh. Got him across. That's unbelievable. You just started going back to church, haven't you? Yeah, church. So, I thought oh. I'd get you a cross That's and it will always protect babe. you. It's quite a small one. I actually ordered one and I had to send it back because it came and it was almost like um, a decoration, like um fashion piece. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It was well, like, that's perfect. It was a fashion piece of jewellery instead of like an actual religious piece of jewellery. So I Even thought... Even when I'm trained, I can keep it on now. Exactly. Because it won't be swinging it's, up with me. It's it? nice and small. And I like the fact as well that um, it has silver and gold on it. You fix it onto me? Yes, I'll put it on for you now. It's only small, but... No, I love that, babe. Happy Valentine's, babe. Thank you, baby. Appreciate it. Now, I love the lakes, don't get me wrong. But why is it every time we come here, it is hammering it down with rain? Hammering. <laughs> hammering. I thought you needed a backup signal. <laughs> hammering it down. We are just going to breakfast now to meet our friendship couple. Why are we so social in 2024? Honestly, when we but went to the Maldives, we made a best friend couple then. Then we've made other friendship couples. Mm. We're just so social. Um, I've got ready in literally two seconds. I'm not wearing this jacket walking, by the way. So the plan is basically, what we think is going on is we're meeting up with them and we're going to grab some breakfast and we're going to go for a walk up the hills, which I think will be fun. But also my fitness is shot. And this woman that we've met, she's a Pilates instructor. So I think that's going to be a slight issue, isn't it? Have we thought about that? In fact, he owns a gym and she's a Pilates instructor. Well, I'm an athlete. What have you got down your jacket? What? I think a bird's pooed on your jacket. Are you serious? No, I'm being serious. Show babe. me, babe. Don't put the camera on. I'm joking. It's just rain. Right, breakfast time now. Bye. Also, a quick shout out. Fresh Kicks cleaned all of our trainers for us and did such a good job. Like, these, honestly, they were not wearable. I mean, they're going to end up in the same state now because we're going off a mountain with them. Um, our friendship couple. Ooh. Um, <laughs> I really stopped doing that, Harry. <laughs> our friendship couple. They've literally got like walking sticks and hiking boots. And, and here we are. Who can't this? Why not? I mean, complimentary. They've got hiking stuff and like rope to basically go vertical up a mountain. Tommy's here in a Dior jacket with his Rolex on. <laughs> And he's wearing Harachis. I climbed Snowden in Harachis for everybody out there. Okay, apparently he's climbed Snowden. I did. Right, I'm gonna cut the camera because no, nobody wait, wants to see this. No, wait, wait. So anyway, shout out Fresh Kicks for cleaning all our trainers and cleaning Tommy's twos. And Tommy's twos. Tommy's twos. <laughs> because I am absolutely not. Babe, these these people are waiting. I think they're gonna come up this way now. I don't think so. Love Over and out. See you on the walk. But obviously, because we're with our new friends, I don't know how much we're gonna be able to blend. And all the miles that we spent in the air. Where we're going, I don't care I'm just so glad that you were there that night In the restaurant Because I got to say So, I'm in love with you What are we gonna do? So, I'm in love with you So gang, we are still on our walk in the lakes. I feel like we've actually probably not gone that far, but you guys know I've not been doing any physical movement or exercise <laughs> since Bambi's arrival really. So this for me is like a good nice little bit of exercise this morning. We've just seen like a really old, oldie woldy church at the top of this hill. So I think we're gonna try and get to this church and then potentially call it a day. Um, Cause as you can see, I'm absolutely soaking wet. We just found a little corner shop 
and we got a sports drink <laughs> like that's gonna help um i just actually fancied that to be fair and yeah we've actually had a really lovely refreshing walk none of us have known where we're going in like what direction i don't know how do you know who we've needed on this walk which i've kept saying we needed zoe and danny because zoe and danny would have done a walk like this in their sleep and probably would have found a much more scenic route because they can work a map and a compass like like a sat nav to be honest but this is the church just there that we're walking up to look how soaked i am but it's fine I'm having a lovely valentine's day and i hope you all are too honestly this if this doesn't feel like a film setting then i don't know what it does with the rain and the fog and the church that's a really beautiful church we're currently in the talks of looking for a church to get married at because we definitely do want to get married in the uk in a traditional catholic church so if anyone knows any beautiful churches catholic churches in cheshire because i think we want to do cheshire because that's where we live obviously or oh, maybe London as well. This has got to be one of the most random things I've ever seen. So we were just driving along this really busy road and we've come across a prep. I just feel like I've never seen a prep in this kind of environment before. Very strange, but I'm not complaining. Oh, Lord. Ooh. Button up massage. Hot it up as well, please. Thank you. I just think that's the most random location for a prep ever. I've never seen anything like that. So guys, we are now in the car. We're basically home now. We've been in the car for about an hour and a half. That's literally how far the Lake Dis District is away from us, which we were just saying is actually so good. Like we should really try and utilize it more, shouldn't we? I'm gonna try and get down there once a week. I think once a week's a bit of a push. I've had the nicest time ever. I hope so. I'll and now I've had the best time and now we're gonna be home just in time to wake Bambi up from her lunchtime nap. So it's worked out perfectly really because I still wanted to spend the day with her obviously because it's Valentine's Day and I just love Valentine's Day. Like I just really find it a special day. Um, so we've done like half the day, just me and Tommy and then we'll be home for Bambi's wake up really. Do you know when you've been driving for like, like, like quite a long period of time. Not like, you know, an hour and a half long, but like, when you've been over the car, I don't know. What? I don't know what I just said there. <laughs> car, I don't know. Car, I don't know. <laughs> Where? <laughs> what on earth was that? You just went, I'm delirious. Oh, oh, oh. And literally I'm nothing, delirious. nothing came out of your you know mouth. It is, right? The heating's on full blast, and you know when you just feel like cosy and you just drift off? That's right. Well, no. You can't be saying that. Why? I can't be saying you're going to drift off. I'm drifting off from the wheel, obviously. I'm fully in charge of what I'm doing, but... No, I, I do know what you mean. You know what I mean? Yeah. I also feel like, because we had a line this morning, I'm just like, woo! Like no, we had too much. We went to bed at like half eleven last night. We stayed, slept into a nine. nine. So what's no. that? It's only nine and a half hours. Only nine and a half hours? That's a long sleep. Yeah. I, I, I could sleep more, honestly. Like, I'm just the queen of sleep anyway. Well, so we just went to Tim Hortons and grabbed... Um, some coffees, a cup of cold coffee. I what got did a you burger. get? You got a what? I got a burger. He got <laughs> he got a burger, <laughs> obviously. I didn't get any food because oh, my teeth are now, so th sensitive. now that we're home. My teeth are sensitive. Thank you for taking me away. I had the best time ever. I love you. <laughs> We've just pulled up home, but Tommy's told me I'm not allowed to get out of the car yet. <laughs> so that was me thinking that the Valentine's surprises were over, but apparently not. Did my hair, makeup, all cute for the day. Drowned rat for me. Um, I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> Listen. Oh, it's like here, really. It's just a little, uh, you know, something. Tell me, come on. What is it? <gasps> oh, what? <laughs> Babe? That is the cutest thing I've ever seen. I mean, I made this one. Yeah, no, but I, I, I got all these little, little cakes. You've incorporated it. Oh, my goodness. And the hearts as well, right here. These little things. Oh, babe. That's really cute. Oh, my gosh. I, we're going to have a feast. And that is for you. <laughs> Thanks, babe. Happy, oh, thank you so much. That is the cutest little display ever. I made this before we left. 
um, which we're going to have a slice of. Yeah, can we try it? Yes. Okay. I need to open my card. You do? I don't know if the car's not anything because obviously I can't write this. I can't write so. Oh gosh, yeah, of course. Don't, don't worry. Thank you. But oh my god, I love the cookies. We're home. Home sweet home with my little cake display. So cute. Put it this way, he's definitely won this Valentine's. He's really pulled it out of the bag. I've had the nicest couple of days ever. So happy to be home though. There's no place in this world like home for me. <sighs> Guys, just jumping on to do a quick outro. I have actually already filmed a really long outro to this video, but I just realized it didn't record. So, love that. If you made it to the end of this video, I love you millions. The reason I'm just doing a quick outro is because I've actually been filming all day today um, for my next video that's coming out. I'm going to try and get this one up this evening. Sorry that it's not that long. I'm worried that because it's under 30 minutes, no one's going to want to watch it. I don't know why I've got that in my head now that all my videos need to be over 30 minutes, but I hope you enjoyed it anyway. I feel so happy that I've finally done a vlog where Tommy's in it more because I feel like he's not been in my videos for so long um but yeah anyway guys if you made it to the end of this video i love you millions thank you so much for watching and hopefully i will see you all in my next one bye